Hey guys, guess what Colossus's favorite music is? Heavy metal. Well, uh, sorry for that. It's been a while since I've said a joke that bad. But it's been long enough, so I've decided to try my hand at the unclever humor. I should have folded. Okay, enough of this. Time to get down to brass tacks. Get it? Because brass is a metal, and Colossus is made of metal. Okay, bad jokes aside, we are talking about the walking girder, Colossus. And let's just say that his abilities, very faulty. And that would be his ability to change the molecular structure of his body to a type of metal. Now there are a number of problems with this. The main one being is that in order to do this, you would need the required particles in your body to transform into this metal. Unfortunately for a metal friend, he doesn't. No matter who you are or what your powers are, you are a person. And being a person means that you can only have so many elements in you. These include oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. We do have other ones like potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium, but they only take up about 0.85% of our body mass. So let's see, what kind of metal is Colossus made of? And after analyzing the way blows impact him and sorting through countless comic issues, I have crunched the numbers and compared them to all the elements on the periodic table, then using a <laughs> complex process of... <laughs> no, not really. I just googled it. And the magic Google machine says, Colossus is a mutant with the superhuman ability to convert the tissue of his entire body into an organic steel-like substance. This substance, resembling steel, is of unknown composition, but appears to be analogous to osmium and carbon steel. Okay, let's look at the first one. Osmium, the densest natural element known to man. Since Colossus gains about a foot of height when he transforms into a metallic man, this is, well, impossible. Unless he can take things in from the air, but it's not like Osmium is just floating around in the air waiting to be... Wait, it is? Huh. Yes, there are actually particles of Osmium floating around in the air. This is good for him, but still doesn't matter, because no matter what, it is impossible to do this, because he is a person. But I guess it is either that, or he actually changes the way electrons, protons, and neutrons align on his atoms. But that would not be like this. But more like this. Or maybe this. But there's no way to explain the amount of energy that would come out of this because, as I said, it's impossible. Now, the next thing we can look at is the effects of being made of pure osmium. And yes, everything in his body does transform in osmium. Organic osmium, but still osmium. I'm just about done with this. So many aspects of him are just completely impossible. And it's kind of annoying, but I guess we can still tell you why it's impossible, right? Now, the reason that this is impossible is that any organic osmium doesn't exist. But let's just say, hypothetically, he can turn into an organic metal. Since Colossus is entirely osmium, and the density of osmium is 22.57 grams per cubic centimeter, then his density when he transforms is 22.57 grams per cubic centimeter, compared to the average density of the average human, which is about 1,020 kilograms per cubic meter, and because he has an average size advantage of 27% on the average human, we can apply this number to his volume, increasing from the human average volume of 66.4 liters to 245.93 liters. Now that we have the volume of Colossus, and we know that since he's made out of pure organic osmium, he has a density of 22.57 grams per cubic centimeter. We can conclude that he has a total mass of, keep in mind that according to the comics, he weighs 500 pounds, or 227 kilograms, his mass would actually be 5,550.64 kilograms, or about 12,237 pounds. That means he weighs about three times more than the 2011 Bugatti Veyron, or about as much as an adult male African bush elephant. So, it looks like we're able to eliminate osmium as a possibility. Now, let's look at the other magic Google machine answer. Carbon steel. As listed before, we have a chemical composition of oxygen, carbon, Hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, <gasps> sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. These elements are all listed in carbon steel, except iron. But if you read your nutrition's label, you will see that many things we eat contain iron, and this would give us the requirement needed for Colossus. 
Well, it would, but iron takes up about 99% of carbon steel, and not even 1% of our body. Though the rest of the elements would take up only 1% we already have. So, because iron doesn't even take up 0.01% of our bodies, he would need to intake so much iron that that's just not even possible. So, obviously, this is a problem. I guess you could say that we have 99 problems, but the rest of the elements say one... Yeah, ignoring that. There is actually a problem. In order for his entire body to be 99% iron, he would have to change his molecular structure. Again. Which, as we already established, is just not going to happen. But we need more time to fill this episode, so... Let's continue this discussion. Let's move on to the prospect that maybe he is made of carbon steel. What properties would he have? Certainly it can't be as bad as the weight of osmium, so let's just see what's going on with this guy. Well, let's first see how close the weight came to Marvel's original weight for him, at 500 pounds, or 227 kilograms. The way we can figure this out is by comparing the densities of carbon steel and osmium, so we can retain the original calculations. Carbon steel has a density of 7.85 grams per cubic centimeter. Osmium has a density of 22.57 grams per cubic centimeter. So this means that osmium weighs roughly three times as much as carbon steel. Using this, we can look at Colossus' original weight for osmium, which is 12,222 pounds, or about 5,550 kilograms. So if we take the percentage difference between the density of osmium and carbon steel, which is 34.78%, and apply it to the weight, we can figure out that carbon steel Colossus has a weight of 4,255 pounds, or about 1,930 kilograms. So he wouldn't exactly be light, and still nowhere near Marvel's number, but not as bad as the osmium weight but still pretty heavy, and very inconvenient for many people. Though the weight would be better for many things, as there's not as much pressure beneath him, and therefore could actually walk on the streets. It might still damage them, but not as bad, right? Well, I guess we'll have to take what we can get, and just work with what we are given. Now, titanium would work better, but Google did not mention it, so it doesn't matter to us, because Google knows all. One other thing about Colossus being made out of carbon steel, that he would be 99% magnetic. There are only three elements that are magnetic. Iron, nickel, and cobalt. And since carbon steel is 99% iron, Colossus would be magnetic. And with his amount of mass, he would basically attract everything that is magnetic. So remember, whether he's crushing the sidewalk or sticking to your truck, he will never really get that much face time in an X-Men movie. That's it for this episode. Remember to like this episode and leave a comment on what superhero you would like to see perform in the real world next. We're the Superhero Scientists, signing off.